Just like clothing and hair, makeup trends also change. And to help us stay up to date and looking fabulous, we have Tanya and Allie from Hair Success to talk about what is hot right now. Thank you guys for coming in. Thank yeah. you for having us. So for, you have a couple different things we're going to talk about. Where should we start this morning? Primers are always key. For Primers. In, yeah, for instance, this 24-hour wear primer for eyelids, you said you just tried I that. I did. I'm not, I'm not even lying. I, it took me a while to, uh, to come around to the primers because I thought, oh, it's just one more step. I don't need it. Mm -hmm. But talk to people who haven't uh, jumped on board yet why you want a primer. It makes your makeup last all day long so you don't have to do any touch-ups. And then it, if you uh, also use a face primer besides the eyeshadow primer, your makeup goes on smoother and then it's more hydrated so your skin isn't dry. Um, there's also one to help minimize pores so that helps kind of blur any lines and blend everything easier. I feel like you don't use as much makeup too when you put a primer on. Absolutely. Right. So Absolutely. You won't find your makeup slipping off throughout the day which is also really nice in this hot weather coming up too. Um, and like like she said, there's so many different kinds that you can kind of pick for your skin type. I mentioned, I really did buy the Smashbox just this weekend. I switched off what my regular primer, you know, I'm mm -hmm. like, I'm going to try this because they put a little bit on my hand. I was like, wow, this just feels so smooth. So mm -hmm. Yeah, and you only need a tiny amount. Another trick that we use is self-tanner. You can mix that with a squirt of foundation on your brush and then just smooth it in in a circular motion. So that helps give you a little bit of color that lasts longer. Do you do that just one time or does that then stay on? I mean, when you, you wash your it, face, does it come up? Um, no, it does leave it on for probably a couple of days, I would say. You can yeah. reapply it. So that's really nice to help with spray tans so that it lasts longer on your face after washing every day. Okay, I've never heard of this. So you need to like back up one sec. You use a, a spray tanner mixed with your foundation. Yep. Yep. This, uh, just you squirt it right on the brush right here, and then you add a pump of foundation. And this is just like my own trick that I decided to start doing. And then it blends nice with like a kabuki brush. So it's a great tip. You're the first one that I've shared it with. Yeah. I was like, wait, how come I don't know this? This is a great little secret. Yeah. I love that because a lot of times too, myself especially, I wear so much heavy makeup and, and I sunscreen and then my face is very white and my body starts to get very tan because you're just, mm -hmm. so this kind of helps your face not be so white compared to your body, yeah, right? It balances it out. Yeah. Balances it I love that. Okay. Yeah. That's, a, that's a little secret I might use. I like that. Okay. What else do you have here? Lashes are always a great trend. Yes. It helps... Um, you look younger, people lose lashes as they get older. Um, opens your eye up a lot. Mm -hmm. There's so many different kinds of lashes too. There's more natural. I obviously have like a little bit more of a dramatic lash on today. Um, but yeah, they are really, really popular right now. So putting them on myself is just, you know, I've tried and I, they never look the same on each side. Can you just go in and have you guys put on eyelashes? Yeah, we do uh, lash extensions. Um, Kylie, she does great makeup application. Um, there's quite a few girls that will help you uh, try them on and then get the right fit to teach you how to apply them. Otherwise, you can also use any lash enhancement products and that helps to grow your lashes longer. That's easy to do if you don't like to apply them with a glue or get eyelash extensions. So there's different options, but you can always come in at any time and book a makeup application or a consultation and we'll show you how to do whatever you need to learn more about. Absolutely. And with our makeup applications, the brushes that we use on you, we send home with you as well, which is a really good thing because then you can kind of go home and use those same brushes to try to recreate the looks we do on you. Mm -hmm. So it's easy to look at Instagram and look at, because I was thinking, you know, for some reason, you know, the Kardashians and the Jenners and Kylie and Kendall come to mind when I see your beautiful eyes. I think not everybody has the same eye shape or face shape. So yeah. it's nice to go in and talk to someone specifically about makeup to, I always want to look more awake or my eyes look bigger. Are there different tricks that you can teach to make that happen? Yep, absolutely. So when we do makeup on different, eye shapes like you said some people have hooded eyes some people have almond shaped eyes big eyes there's different ways to apply eyeshadow and eyeliner to achieve different looks i love it yeah just a few tricks of the trade here from yeah, you guys absolutely. thank you so much i appreciate your time today thank, thank you. you stay with us coming up next we're going to get your daily motivation